Welcome back. So far, we've mentioned many times that prompting is all about the goal and the context. However, I'm sure you've also heard about personas. A persona, also called an AI character or a role, is a type of prompting where you start the chat with something like you're a lawyer or you're a doctor or you're another profession. And only then you ask the question. Using a persona while prompting is one of the best things you can do. In this video, we will see why. Let's go back to our why is Barcelona so good example and see it in action. I'll start the conversation with, you are an architect. Why is Barcelona so good? The AI provided a great answer which was fitting what we wanted to achieve. Why did this work? Well, we provided an amazing context. Being an architect means you are well versed in architecture, urban planning, have a university degree, probably you are interested in culture and your command of language is above average, and so on. This is why personas are so great. They provide so much context with so little text. Shall we do another one? In Team GPT, we've got personas ready to be used, so I'll fetch one. The travel expert. This persona description is much longer. But length doesn't really matter. Context does. Is this extra text bringing extra context? I'm not really sure. But the general rule is, the more, the better. Okay, Mr. Travel Expert, why is Barcelona so good? Needless to say, this answer was much different than the one of the architect. It fits a different context. Let me do another one. Prompt expert. As an AI, I don't have personal opinions, blah blah blah. Barcelona could refer to the city itself, its culture, its architecture, its soccer team, etc. Kind of what we've been talking about all this time, right? In fact, being a prompt expert in this case does not provide any context. Therefore, you should be careful which personas you choose to use for which use cases. Alright, so when are personas useful? Always. From my experience, personas greatly improve any conversation. First, personas provide a lot of context on their own. They're awesome at getting the AI into the headspace of whatever you're trying to ask. And second, personas are also great to create your own persona or your own character. For instance, for the purposes of this course, I've created my own AI course instructor persona. Every time I need to ask something, I just use the same persona. I highly recommend you create one for yourself and that's actually one of your exercises for homework. Alright, from a logical point of view, personas are nothing but a type of context. However, they're so useful that in this course we will be talking about three main steps in prompting. Defining the goal, the context and the persona. Thanks for watching.